This is my Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 video. Where'd it go? Oh! <laughs> now let's see if we have root. Allow a super user permission. We have root access. This video is going to show you how to put Sinjimon 9 on your Galaxy Tab 10.1. Once you've rooted it, you can install ROM Manager. And then choose Flash Clockwork Recovery and Galaxy Tab 10.1. And from here, we're going to install ROM from SD card. You need to take the zip and put it on the root directory of the SD card, meaning not in a folder. See, it's right there. That's the one we need to flash. The one you just saw is one that Steve Kondai posted on his Google+. Plus. I would recommend you go to git.cm, go to the P4 Wi-Fi, and download the latest one from there. Right now, all you can choose is a nightly, but later on, this will also be where the stable are stored as well. I would choose both of these options. Make sure that you've already backed up your ROM. I just did it myself. So I'm not going to check it, but make sure you check that. Otherwise, you can't go back to this if you don't like it or something. Okay. I don't know why it aborted, so we'll go ahead and do it ourselves. Back to a reset. Install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Ah! Choose it from SD card. Go to this one. What the hell? Alright, so I think I just had a bad zip, so let's find out. Go to wipe. Yes. Stalls it from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Choose this one. Choose yes. Let's find out this gives us any errors. I don't know what that means. March 6, 8.58 a.m. I'm gonna show you how to make the zip actually flashable. It's as easy as going to git.cm and then finding the P4 Wi-Fi and copying this, clicking on that. I use it down the mall because it's the fastest download manager I've ever used and I've used it for several years. And you can also check the MD5s without using another program such as this one by Portable Apps. Basically, you navigate to wherever the file's at, you open it, and then it puts the MD5 right here, and you paste yours in there to make sure it matches or not. Okay, so it verified successfully. Now we're going to open it up, and now we go to this folder, this folder, this folder, this folder, and delete the old one that I had already modified and drag the new one over here. Now we edit with Notepad++. You have got to get rid of this line right here. And then press delete to get that line up and press save. Now we're going to delete this one out of here and drag the new one in there and press yes. Now we have the updated script. And then you'll take this and you'll send it to your Galaxy tab. What I did was drag it to my Dropbox folder and then use the Dropbox app on my Galaxy Tab and downloaded it. And now you have a flashable zip. If you do not do this and you leave the old script in there that has that one line that we deleted, you have to do this every time you download the zip, unfortunately. If you try to just transfer the raw zip to the SD card, you're going to get the P4 Wi-Fi error and it's not going to apply the update.zip in recovery. It's going to fail. And you're going to see that in my video because I did not do it. I wasn't aware of it. And after searching around the forums, somebody posted a reply on how to fix it. Get rid of that first line. That was honestly a lot easier than I expected it to be. I simply opened up the zip and I took out like a script. I deleted a certain line that people were saying to delete. And bam, it freaking did this. This is awesome. I can't believe one little script was causing all that drama. Aha, what's that? That's the only thing so far, is it won't pick up that 5 gigahertz network. But I'm sure that's something they'll iron out. Awesome. So we get the little lock screen. Hee 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 hee. 
He said camera doesn't work, so let's try this out. Yep, camera doesn't work, but that's all right. You can't resize the widgets right off the bat. You've got to go to settings, and then you got to go down here to launcher. Resize any widget. Yeah, I've got to load the ICS. Hold on. I'll load the ICS Google add-ons and go from there. For now, this is what we're Josh doing. I'm out.